To set up your Brava, all you need to do is plug it in, sign into your Wi-Fi, create a login and password, and don't forget to download the Brava app on your phone. So my kitchen isn't very big. It's right, I put the Brava right by the stove. And the good thing is that it can ventilate outwards. It has a heat resistant pad here. So once the food is out of the oven, I can put it on top. I can also leave these clean trays here as storage so I can easily access it. So I just created my account right on the Brava and this is the screen that I get. It's time to tackle my very first recipe in the Brava and it's gotta be easy. So I'm gonna be doing fried eggs and what makes it easier, it comes with a fried egg pan. So let's go through the steps together and see how it turns out. Okay, so step number one is just spray it with some butter. Some salt, Get some Himalayan sea salt here, and black pepper. All right, sliding in. Let's do this together. Let's go to cook. Scroll along to eggs. And options here, including combinations. Lots. But what we want is, I saw it at the very top, fried eggs. Classic fried, yeah. Okay, then what happens from here? And then I guess, press the first button, browning level. Next two, add fried eggs to the tray. We have four. Okay. This one over easy, over medium, over. Let's do over medium. Timing, let's do default because it's my first time. Slide the tray into the top shelf and press green light to start cook. Okay, we got that. Guess it's all done. Thanks for letting me know so I can either create a custom cook if I wanted to. Ooh, add an extra step. What does this say? Save changes. I'm just gonna exit that. I can touch up if I wanted to. Oh, I see. For specific eggs. Or done. Let's say that it's done. All done. See what they look like. They come off with the nonstick really easily. Let's flip it. Nice brownness. I think next time I'm going to do it a little bit less timing um, so I can get more of an over easy egg. Okay, feeling like eggs again this morning. Love that it's so easy. I'm going to try those fried eggs. Classic fried. There are four. Let's do over easy today. And leave it at the default. Slide egg tray into top shelf. Okay. Just over four minutes. These eggs are beautiful. They're over easy. Let's get something to flip it. I only have chopsticks here. Beautiful. Let's try touching this. Woo! That's how I like my eggs. These are for the kids, and I've touched it up about in about a minute, and I've also seared the top. 
So even though it doesn't look very different than originally, it's the yoke is pretty firm. And let's flip it. It's fried, so it looks good like this. Next up, let's try toasting. So with those eggs, I want some bagels. Toast. I have some wheat bagels. Four of them. Four halves. And it goes. Two to four minutes. So this is what level five browning looks like for these sesame seed bagels toasted on both ends. This is as dark as I would like it, so no more than level five for myself. Here I have some brine pork chops and I'm going to use the sear function. And according to instructions, I can put it, I can choose the zone, so I have in all three. And I also want it to sear the top and the bottom. I can see. Time to try out the sensor and cook some meat. So I got some typed in chicken in the search. I have chicken drumsticks. I want to cook as many as I like. So all three zones here. Well done or juicy. Let's see. Well, well, well done and juicy. <laughs> 165 is good. Play video, let's see. Okay, put it in horizontally through the meat. Has to be at least one inch thick. Into okay, that seems pretty easy. Slide the middle train to the bottom shelf. It's about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. In terms of tips, 13 to 40 minutes. Season with kosher salt. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the coating. I'm going to put the sensor in horizontally through the meat. If you can see it, well, you can, but see, it got all the way through. And then from here, there's a little thingy. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's in. I'm going to try to get it not to curl so much, so maybe like that. Um. I think that's it. Sensor's in. Green button. It cooked in about 10 minutes. I let it cook for a little bit longer, up to like 188 degrees Fahrenheit instead of the 165. Bacon and eggs. I typed in bacon and eggs in the search bar. I think that's the easiest way versus searching for eggs or bacon. Eggs and bacon. Let's start from the beginning. I have extra thin. I have four eggs. Yes, I do. Bacon and one. Yes. As many as I can fit on that tray. I'm going to choose over medium. I'll leave it at default. Top tray is bacon, I guess. And bottom tray, I'll put the eggs. And that's it. So let's look at any helpful tips here.
five to six bacon slices, butter, or bacon's in the top tray, and time to cook it. So about that glare, <laughs> I just realized there was a plastic film, and I just took it off, so it's all clear now. I did add thin bacon, but I think these are regular bacon. Oopsie. That's the likeness, the doneness that I like. Uh, and then here are the eggs. Such that yolk. Ooh, I like the eggs. Today I'll be making pizza for the first time. And I have non bread instead of fresh dough. Let's see what options they have here. I will test out the fresh dough sometime. Um, there isn't one for non. I've searched for that as well. Hmm. I'm going to use French bread pizza. I'm going to use all three zones. Let's do default helpful tips. Middle train to bottom shelf. And in we go. To me, start. Eight minutes. Didn't need to preheat. Cool. This is eight minutes straight out of the oven, slid off with the pan really easily. Looks good. The cheese is melted, didn't burn. My pepperoni. And it's got a really good crust. Awesome. And while that was cooking, I'm going to put another one in. Today I'm feeling like pizza. Fresh dough. They actually have lots of recipes. So I'm using store-bought whole wheat dough. It's going to be pepperoni, 12 minutes, let's do that. Par bake, thin crust, thin crust, 12 ounces. So I got that one. All three. Let's do default since it's my first time. Slide the metal tray into the bottom shelf. 12 minutes, and let's see the tips that they give. Active time, 9 to 18. Pepperoni is delicious. Yes, it is. Pound of dough. Tomatoes. Oh, thanks for the recipe. Thank you. I gotta work on my stretching of the dough skills but this is the first pizza I've ever made in the Brava in 12 minutes and it looks really good I put some mozzarella parm crisp pepperoni I guess we'll have to do the taste test but so far it is looks good pretty impressed So what did I like about the Brava? There's tons of things to refer to my blog post at maryshappybelly.com. But if I had to sum it up, it's quick. It's easy to use, so very intuitive. And my top things to cook, and I am continually cooking different dishes, uh, would be croutons, pizza, either with fresh dough, or pre-made dough like naan has a crispy crust which is amazing and also eggs eggs are super easy it has that egg pan you have fried eggs over easy a couple of minutes you got it um, and I also like that the recipes are constantly being updated uh, which is really cool very modern um, making sure that the recipes really come out the way that users want it to be so that is a very very cool oven and this is the oven for the modern times thanks again for watching my video please subscribe like and comment on my video thank you